I'm Rocco Castoro. I am the editor-in-chief of Vice Media. That means I oversee all of the editorial functions for Vice Magazine. We still have a print magazine, yes. Uh, the website, vice.com. And a lot of our documentary content, increasingly. So, Vice, if you don't know what it is, um, well, we like to make people uncomfortable, I think. Uh, and not intentionally, but well, pretty much everything we talk about, whether it be news or culture or politics or do's and don'ts, um, kind of makes people uncomfortable and you either laugh at it or maybe you get upset or maybe you learn something. But I feel like increasingly talking about anything in media is probably going to make someone uncomfortable because there's a lot of weird shit happening out there today. I, I don't... I couldn't really pinpoint one. I mean, in the past year I have spent far too much time um, on stories uh, that involve the Ku Klux Klan, uh, John McAfee, um, people who really like to shoot guns, um, you know, interesting characters. So you could say that this was a big year for me, but uh, I've had several big years and lots of uh, highs and lows in between. I think if you're in this field, you have to expect a lot of extremes, and that just kind of it's part of the fun. It makes it not boring. I don't really know. I don't have a vision of the future so much as that um, I don't really like lying, not because it's there's some moral dilemma with it. I just think it's inefficient, and I think the more information that's free and people have access to, it's going to be kind of impossible to, to lie and maybe the concept of privacy needs to be also sort of reevaluated. what that means. I don't think they're bad things, but I s hopefully see it going that way. Otherwise, I think, you know, the world's just going to explode from its core and we're all going to be vaporized.